So if you guys are coming to Lakeland, Florida for the reptile show or for any occasion, I highly recommend the Spring Hill Marriott. This was a really nice hotel, super clean. The rooms were just amazing. The staff, super friendly. And they were right next to all the top attractions that you would want to see. All right, guys, I'm here at this beautiful coffee house getting ready for the Lakeland show. The weather's a little wet outside, but that's okay. We're enjoying the coffee. Can't wait to see you guys there. Hey, guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. Today, we're in Lakeland, Florida for the Fire Expo. Really, really nice size event tons of amazing animals amazing people the big surprise the show was really really slow not that many people came out but there were so many amazing reptiles i recorded everything for you guys in detail and i want to show you everything so i'm breaking the video up into multiple parts this is part one part two will be up tomorrow if not the next day now, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. If you want to help support the channel, feel free to subscribe. And if you look in the description info below, I have a link if you're interested in picking up some merchandise like a nice coffee cup or a nice Cloud Colubra shirt. Feel free. I appreciate you guys and enjoy. <laughs> Which I felt bad because it was so hot. The picks, the top 10% of what I watched the show yeah. that I paint. Because these are not new ones. A lot of people forget sometimes or don't know. I hatch back in the email. Yeah. And of course, the color. Less on the lid, yeah. yeah you are they, how much of the females? Um, I've actually, I've got six on here, but I'm telling you, I'm making So you understand, it's not a switcheroo or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My friend Bud Pulse here, he fought pythons for 15 years and got back into food. I was thinking I guess yeah, the pink really, one. Can't help but look at that little picture. <laughs> I am, I'm, I'm so proud, as you can tell. And I simply don't have the time to take care of the babies. Pictures. So there's some more mechanical aspects, but we do a lot of it. interesting. How long did these bulbs last you? Uh, around um, these since 1992. That's when I first purchased. Oh, you them. haven't replaced them? No, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Old things are good things; they last forever. That's why <laughs> you buy something modern, and it's they like ah, it's it gone in a couple years. Right. Yeah, they don't. It's like everything. But that was the bulb. They had the big white. That was the thing. These were made for a guano enclosure. Oh wow. Because it's daylight spectrum, and that's what they really do, you know? Yeah, yeah, I mean, things used to last 20, 30 years. I even think they were supposed to do the D3 thing, you know? So Lee Abbott is one of my favorite people to visit when I go to these shows. He has pictures on the table of the adults, so when you buy a baby, you have an idea of how it could look. Really knowledgeable guy, super friendly. Definitely check him out. He has some of the nicest corn snakes in the world. Parents. Oh, okay. The father is a Travis Whistler animal. They really are a nice bluish color when they get bigger. Yeah, that's Yeah, beautiful. and I really like it. And this is a new male that I'm hibernating for the first time that I really do like the spectrum. It's it's more of a terracotta orange, but some blares are terracotta instead of the, yeah. you know, the brighter. So That's there's gonna be a huge spectrum there like anything corn snake and, and like Ravens. They look like a Mexicana yeah. you know, type or, or blares. And of course I'm gonna incorporate that into it, the uh, anatheristic for the yeah. blue factor. There's another shot of that really cool animal in the black. Yeah. These are Tim Mangum's animals in his hands, I believe, wow. or Walter's. Those came from Walter Smith. In fact, a lot of this did. A lot of this and this line originated from Walter. This animal came from Chris Sakagi okay. in Nevada. 
That's so beautiful. That has nothing. When you said you're going to retire, I thought you meant from no, snakes. No, no, that's why I correct myself because I could tell you were hearing me, but oh no. No, it's not like that. I, I want to do this yeah. and enjoy some of my life because it's so hard. They were, you know, they depend on me and I've been with them. It's so cool to do something like that and they're so happy. Yeah. And so I'm left alone. I, people think I'm the owner. They, you know, I just, I manage the place, but I'm absolutely left alone. They come in a couple times. <laughs> so. Maybe the back side of that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Tried to kind of, kind of cool little collage here or whatever. That's right. nice. Got to, got to do it like she does over there in Italy. She does it in certain ways, so she gets all that. It's like the way she holds them and stuff and shows on that's, that's like I said, a year later, pretty much what they end up like. Whatever white's there, it just kind of gets more intense, you know. Yeah. And uh, more pronounced and stuff as they get a little bit older. Because I know that one that you bought last year, that when you went to Miami to get that you showed pictures and stuff. No. And was like, that thing, right? You produce a baby like that. Probably. And maybe next year? Or two years I'm going to breed her. Okay. So I have two like that that I'm breeding next year. Yeah, so yeah. So two years is going right, to be Right, I remember, mine. yeah. I'm going to show you one that I produced. Watch that out. Sort of. But what's weird is one of the ones I just hatched, the new annual babies, scaleless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, it's uh, I don't know, man. It's still interesting to see what's going to happen in the next year or two with those. But they're, right now, they're red eye and pure white like the old palmettos actually do as they grow get a little bit of color and um so i'm curious to see now how the scale is still you know i hope it does do you have any adults no, right. no that's what i'm saying this yeah. is all in a couple of them this morning yeah oh yeah that's gonna be an incredible yeah, i'm probably one. gonna hold that's why i've got that price tag because i'm i don't really want to sell her i see why because yeah i mean she's gonna be absolutely the, the speckling's gonna be crazy on that when she gets bigger yeah it's gonna be just full of color that big nice blotch there's gonna come out better and stuff yeah it's that's one of the few i produce this year that's not head scaleless but she goes oh man i really want that one and i'm like well cool looking pattern oh yeah i mean those things are so They're really intense. They are. The, the arrows are amazing, man. I mean, little variants here. And there. So another amazing corn snake breeder, highly recommended. Bud Fultz, definitely come visit him. One of the first people in the country to produce the scaleless palmetto. I definitely recommend you come see Bud. Really, really genuine and nice guy. <laughs> That's why, yeah. Everything. That's why you see everything's just not moving. Yeah. So any of the containers you look down through here, none of the snakes are moving. It's too cold. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and later you're going to complain. You're going to tell them, no, I ain't doing that anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's already complaining. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. You already know. I didn't come on this trip to do this. You know, later, make sure that you get it. That's right. That becomes your time. There you go. Uh, rats. They look like sulcatas, I, but I, I was thinking that's what they were. Yeah, yeah they're just albino versions of them. That's where I haven't really seen many people with these. Um, no, he will. 
Uh. I've been putting it back in all day. Tomorrow we're going to bring screen to put over these guys. Oh, uh. The guys that like to climb. When they added all those extra tables, like right as it was getting towards time to do the show. Like, uh, uh -huh. We were actually on our way to the Tinley show and we had already like so many pre-sales and we had stuff being flown to. Going there and then we wound up doing the Tinley Hotel show. Uh, there too many people in here. We had like you know, 15 people in our room at any time. On the beds, on the dressers, in the bathroom we had axolotls. It, but it was a kick-ass show, you know? Was, right as I was getting to that show, I had a cough and a sneeze and all that stuff. Yeah. And then since then I haven't been sick. So knock on wood, you know, they, uh -huh. they had canceled the show. That was and fun. three quarters of the people were already on their way there. That's funny you brought that up. That was the Tilly show I finally made it to. Uh, so I haven't been back since. Yeah. I usually go just to look at animals. The biggest disappointment with the one that just passed that I went to was that uh, Megaconda didn't bring any albino anacondas with them. Uh, I was like going there. same boat. So if you guys love king snakes and milk snakes, colubrids, definitely check out Kyla Bell at Queen of Kings. You could also check out her Instagram. She shows a lot of her snakes. She has an amazing collection. She really, really produces some of the finest, finest colubrids out there. Highly recommended. And usually when I go to a show and she's there, I overspend every time. Definitely check her out. I also didn't get sick until I went to move my... These are like babies. They're tiny. They're tiny. They're tiny. They're tiny. They're tiny. They're small. They don't get big. They're like this, one of the, I think one of the smaller. I was thinking about doing, uh, I have a lot of snakes, like king snakes, corn snakes. Yeah, I keep a lot of king snakes, so 
the only thing I can really keep for boats. But tortoise, I mean turtles are like... It's not really something I look at for money. Like, yeah, yeah, definitely. I work, uh, my, my uncle uh, owns a turtle farm with like 40,000 turtles, so like, we, uh, we have our hands full breeding stuff there. And sometime I would like to do that again though. <laughs> but to me, the, the I like the visual ones because they're, they're just easier for me to reach. <laughs> pay for your eating. It'd be cheap for you just have a snack stand. Every time you. they see me, I'm eating. Uh, yes. This is cake in it. Eventually, I'll just breathe. Yeah. But it's not like right now. We don't have time to do that. Mm -hmm. These ones, those would go good with that. The one with the crack? Yeah, I was thinking that too, but you were saying no, no crack. So I hope you guys are relaxing and enjoying the video. This is part one. I'll be posting part two in a day or two. And then I'll be showing you guys what I picked up at the show. So stay tuned. I appreciate the support. Be safe. I'll catch you guys in the next one.